The Troy Trojans will look for their ninth straight winning cover on Saturday down in Alabama as they take on the Duke Blue Devils this weekend in the Birmingham Bowl. For Troy, their success this year has mainly come off the back of an extremely balanced offense, ranking 26th on the season in yards per pass attempt through the year, along with putting up over 270 rushing yards against Appalachian State in the ground three weeks ago as well. That offense for the Trojans will be matched up here against the Duke team that, you know, has lost a ton of key personnel ahead of this game. You know, head coach Mike Elko has gone to Texas A&M, former quarterback Riley Leonard, who's transferred over to Notre Dame following that injury earlier in the season, along with, you know, Jordan Waters, Brandon Johnson, a number of other key starters as well. So the Blue Devils are definitely going to be shorthanded ahead of this one. In terms of Riley Leonard in particular, you know, he's been a massive loss for this Duke offense over the back half of the year. You know, you just need to look at the contrast with how Duke started the regular season and how they finished it to see that. You know, Leonard put up over a 1,000 yards combined both on the ground and through the year over those first four games of the season. Before that week five ankle injury against Notre Dame, which, you know, unfortunately uh, put the best days of the season behind him. That's a major concern for Duke here as well as, you know, in running back Kimani Vidal, the Trojans not only possess a top 30 passing attack ahead of this one, but also a running game, you know, led by Vidal that absolutely torched Appalachian State in the ground three weeks ago. You know, Vidal in particular averaging nine yards per carry, along with having five rushing touchdowns in that game as well. So, you know, it's no surprise to see the Sun Belt's Offensive Player of the Year gain some headlines ahead of this game, you know, both in terms of how exactly Duke can attempt to slow him down here, given the fact that the Blue Devils rank 86th in opponent rushing for its stones this year, a number that inflates considerably when they go on the road as well. You know, along with how exactly Duke keeps this scoreboard taken over at the other end, Troy has some absences of their own uh, going into this game, notably head coach John Sumrall, who's gone over to Tulane, and linebacker Jaden McDonald, McDonald also. But those are dwarfed by the players Duke are currently missing here. And it's no surprise to see this line climb from minus 5.5 to the current minus 7.5 line over the last few weeks as a result. Even some eight starting to pop up right now as well. So that's a bit too rich for me on the spread, considering we've moved, you know, through that key number. But by the same token, you know, there's absolutely no way I could touch Duke here, given all of those absences in their roster. So I'm instead going to turn towards the total here, and more specifically the first half under 22 and a half points at minus 106. You know, for all Duke's faults this year, they have tended to start tightened games. You know, top 25 team and opponent first half points per game this year. They've allowed just 12 points per game in the first half across the last three starts as well. And on the flip side, you know, Troy have tended to start slower in games as well. You know, 69th in first half offense this year, yet 19th in second half offense. So that shows you the nature of our both teams tend to set up in games. And when we combine both of those two factors, we could well see a slower paced game early on Saturday. Uh, so that'll do it for me anyway. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And for those interested, you, you can use code TAKE20, T-A-K-E-2-0 to knock a full 20% off any all access pass of your choice. One day, one year, any sports. So, completely up to you and make sure and lock that in before the end of the week if you enjoyed this content don't forget to hit the like button it's very much appreciated and for even more great betting content feel free to check out one of the other videos listed on your screen right now